Hello, my students. Welcome to our vocabulary lesson today for the selection Suki's Kimono. The first word we'll learn is cotton. Cotton. It means cloth made from soap, white fibers that grow in branches on the cotton plant. So we take the cotton from this plant to make our t-shirts, dresses, or blouses. So this is a cotton plant. This is a cotton plant. Festival. Festival. It's a program of entertainment, often held annually, means maybe once a year, like the parade or the festival that we see in the picture. The parade marks the opening of the town's summer festival, so most of the people are out to celebrate certain events. Graceful. Graceful. It means beautiful in form or movement. As a ballet dancer in the picture, the ballerina made a graceful leap. She was so fluent, her movement is so beautiful. Handkerchief. Handkerchief. It is so, usually square, piece of cloth that you may use for wiping your nose, face or hand. Like the one in the picture. So this man, the man, has a blue silk handkerchief. Paces. Paces. It means steps. And as you see, the steps or the footprints of the man are shown clearly in the sand. So his paces made a large circle in the sand. His paces, his steps made a large circle in the sand. Pale, pale, it means having very little color, not bright, like these roses. The roses are a very pale pink, so the pink color here is not bright as we used to see it. And we may use the word pale too when we describe someone sick, so we may ask him, why do you look pale? So he's not feeling well. Rhythm, rhythm. It's the natural strong beat that some music or poetry has. Like when we end some of our lines with rhyming words, words with the same sound at the end. So what do they give us? They give us music. We call it rhythm. So and here in the picture, he beats the rhythm on the drum. He beats the rhythm on the drum. Snug. Snug. It means fitting your body closely, to be wrapped up, to feel warm and cozy. Like this dog, he's wrapped up in his towel, to feel warm and maybe to sleep well. So the dog is snug in the towel. The dog is snug in the towel. So the words to know from this selection are festival, tail, rhythm, cotton, paces, Handkerchief, graceful, and snug. Fitting your body closely. Fitting your body closely. Like to be wrapped up, to feel warm, for example. So, what the correct word that could describe this? Hmm? The answer is snug. Snug. The natural strong beat that some music or poetry has. The natural or strong beat that some music or poetry has. So what do we call this? Uh, this is um, rhythm. This is rhythm. Not bright, dim, not bright. So like having very little color or being dull. So, what does it mean? It means um, pale, pale. Steps, steps, a rate of movement. Steps means um, paces, paces. What's the word that describes cloth 
made from soft white fibers that grow in fluffy bunches on the cotton plant. It's the cotton. Cotton. What do we call a program of entertainment often held annually? Every year. It's um it's a festival. Festival. A soft, usually square piece of cloth used for wiping your nose, face, or hands. So what do you call this? Mm, we call it handkerchief. Handkerchief. Beautiful in form or movement. How can we describe this? Beautiful in form or movement. We can describe this beautiful swan by saying that the graceful swan is floating on the water. The graceful swan is floating on the water. Now get ready with your pen and paper because it's time to check your understanding through the coming exercise. Directions? Write the word on the line that fits the meaning of the sentence. Check the words you know. Festival, paces, Tail, handkerchief, rhythm, graceful, cotton, and snug. Number one. Every new year, my neighborhood has a hmm with fireworks. So when do you the fireworks and why? Number two. One song had a great hmm, so everyone danced. So we dance when we hear. Number three. The dancer moved her arms in hmm curves. Wow. Four. I pull the covers up to my chin and then I feel hmm in bed. So what do you feel when you get covered in bed? Number five. In summer. I wear cool hmm, t-shirts. I like their material. The second exercise. Directions. Match the word with its meaning. Draw a line from the word to its definition. Number six. Paces. Seven. Tail. Eight. Handkerchief. Nine. Cotton. Ten. Snug. And on the other side, there are, there is a group of definitions. Piece of cloth for wiping one's nose or face. Wrapped up, warm and cozy. Walks, steps. Having very little color. Material made from a plant. So go ahead, think and write down the answers and wait to check them together. Check your answers. Number one. Every new year, my neighborhood has a festival with fireworks. Number two. One song had a great rhythm, so everyone danced. Number three. The dancer moved her arms in graceful curves. Number four. I pull the covers up to my chin, and then I feel snug in bed. Number five. In summer, I wear cool cotton t-shirts. The second exercise. Number six. Paces. Means walks and steps. Number seven. Pale. Having very little color. 8. Handkerchief Piece of cloth for wiping one's nose or face 9. Cotton Material made from a plant 10. Snug 
wrapped up, warm and cozy. I hope you did them all right. Here we come to the end. Hope you enjoyed the lesson and understood everything. Thanks for listening and have a nice day, dear students. Bye-bye.